Yeah, I don't understand the concepts of conversation of the gun culture. We, we, we've lived with guns since, what, the seventh century or something? Well, I don't know. We all know that right now guns is a trope. It's a, uh, I mean, it's not a trope, it's a, it's a totem, it's a metaphor that um, disenfranchised white guys need. It makes them feel good because they're being You surrounded. can say what you want. I don't agree with that. <clears throat> the concepts of how to um, turn it around and say, you know, I... You you may think you've got me worried about what you're going to do. Dude, you're about to find out what I'm going to do. And that's going to worry you a lot more. Kurt Russell at it again. This video is brought to you by BlackForceSupplements.com. Black Forest Supplements. I take all our supplements. Y'all already saw the video I made. Uh, take a test, Turkesteron, which... I did four or five squat like it wasn't nothing, like it was going out of style. 315 on a bench like it ain't nothing. I'm telling you, I even gave a bottle of Turkesterone to somebody today. But today I want to talk to you a little bit about the NMN, and this is the anti-aging supplement that uh, Black Forest Supplements have, and it's, it's incredible. You can look at it. It has Harvard studies that shows that N NMN uh, cuts down weight, cholesterol, and blood pressure in overweight adults. A lot of anti-aging properties in it, um, it helps with anti-aging related diseases. It focuses on cardiovascular diseases and also uh, neurodegenerative disorders and diabetes. So this supplement has a lot of wonderful things in it. The government obviously don't want you to take it. They're finding ways to make this a drug. Therefore, you have to go get a prescription and Big Pharma can take over. So this is probably going to be one of the only opportunities you have to get this before they end up making it a drug. It's on the market. It's effective. And you should give it a try. Go to blackforcesupplements.com forward slash Tatum. That's blackforcesupplements.com forward slash Tatum. And right now, you can buy two and get one free. Just like Turkesterone, buy two and get one free. You won't be disappointed. Like, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notification anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this, share this video. Let's get into this. My, man, my brother from another mother, Kurt Russell. I made a video about Kurt Russell and had a million views on it. I, hopefully, this is a million view video. I, I just, I, I just, when I see people with celebrity status, they, when, when they actually say what they really feel and they say things that are articulate, that, that are standing up for the little people like you and I, it makes me excited and, and, and it makes me feel hopeful of the future and not everybody's with, I almost said the R word, not everybody's crazy. But let's listen to what uh, Kurt Russell says against this uh, Hollywood blogger. And I love it that he whooped that he whooped him like a unwanted stepchild. Wrote a clip. Yeah, I don't understand the concepts of conversation of the gun culture. We, we, we've, we've lived with guns since what the seventh century or something. Well, I don't know. We all know that right now. Yeah. Guns is a trope. It's a. Uh, I mean, it's not a trope. It's a. It's a totem. It's a metaphor that um, disenfranchised white guys need. It makes them feel good because they're being. You surrounded. can say what you want. I don't agree with that. It's a, Guns make uh, white guys, like insecure white guys. That's what I'm taking what he said. Insecure white guys is make it feel like they got purpose. How about guns are for when black people couldn't have guns and they were getting tortured and beat and all kind of stuff? The Klan was after them and they couldn't have guns. How about for black people too? All right. It's not my thing. But it's so, statistically... You know. Well, I, you can look. If you think that if you think gun control or something like that is going to change a terrorist point of view, I think you're like out of your mind. I think no. you're like I think anybody is. I think I think it's absolutely insane. The problem, the problem, the problem we're having right now is is that we don't have the concepts of how to um, turn it around and say, you know, I, you, you may think you've got me worried about what you're going to do. Dude, you're about to find out what I'm going to do. And that's going to worry you a lot more. Ah, that's what we need. Yeah, we'll boy. change the concept of gun culture, as you call it, to something of reality, which is uh, if I'm a hockey team and I got a guy bearing down on me as a goaltender, I'm not concerned about what he's going to do. I'm going to make him concerned about what I'm going to do I get that. to stop him. That's when things change. So, Obama's uh, you know. point was that the guys who are on the no-fly list, no-fly list because of terrorist mm -hmm. connections, can get a gun pretty easily. They can also make a bomb pretty easily. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> ah, 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 in your face. They can also get knives and stab you. What are you going to do about that? 
They can get cars and run you over with them. What are you going to do about that? I love these What are you going to do about that? They didn't kill the people in San Bernardino. Oh, but they've killed others that way. Haven't they? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So what are you going to do? Outlaw everything? That isn't the answer. Just put some control. Just, that, put some controls. What? So the people so the, so the people who want to defend themselves can't? No, not so you can't. Just so the idiots can't get a hold of them. That's do all. you really believe they're not going to? Are you, are you serious about that? Yeah, are you seriously? Harder. What good will that? Oh, my God. You and I just disagree. Okay. You and I just disagree. I, 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 I understand that you think that you can control the behavior of people that are dead set on taking um, your way of life away from you. I think you think you can control that. No. And say, there's uh, only one thing you can do with that. And yeah. that's say, no, dude, that's not going to happen. That's just not going to speak with you, man. Good talking with you. <laughs> so I don't know the context of this interview, but I know that it went south for the little, 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 little chum chum down here. That guy. Y'all don't need to see his face because he's wor- he's a worthless person. I just love when people with common sense just lay it out there. This is not rocket science, bro. This is not just like the, you know, the. Uh, you know, I tried to flip the words just so they don't. Just like that whole argument, we we shouldn't even be talking about that. It's not it's a it's not even a real argument. We know what the real truth is. Same thing when it comes to these guns. It's like it's like wait a minute, bro. Let's just keep this in. Let's put this in perspective. If somebody start taking that car and running people over with it, do we ban every car? No, no, no. Because if we ban every car, that makes sure nobody gets run over again, right? But what about all the people that lose their jobs? What about all the people that, that it affects in a negative way that had nothing to do with violence with a car? It's the same thing in California. They're trying to put a speedometer cap where you can't go 10 miles per hour over the speed limit in every car in California. Every car in California? Do you know how stupid this is? For three reasons, it's completely stupid. And it's, uh, it's associated directly with this gun stuff. Three reasons it's completely stupid. One reason is they're talking about doing it by like 2028 or something. So people are going to be just laying up in the street until 2028 when you first start implementing it. There's 16, there's like uh, 1.6 million new cars sold in California every year. So people are going to be just losing their whole life for the next several years until y'all implement the first 1.6 million cars with a cat with a governor on it. But every other car that existed that had been made, that's been made from the point where y'all started talking about this to now, don't have a governor on it. And then therefore, when people that really need to speed up to pass somebody, somebody's in an emergency situation, somebody's, you know, in a tight spot, somebody go buy a, 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 a Ferrari and the thing can only go 10 miles per hour the speed limit. All of these different restrictions you're putting on people. And to be honest, only a third of all the vehic- vehicular deaths are speed related. And, and, and speed related doesn't mean it's just speed. It could be a person drunk speeding. It could be a person out of anger speeding. All of these things. So it's, it's rare that people actually get killed from this. And it's like a couple thousand. There's like 30 million people that live in California. So you're going to make 30 million people put a governor on their car for 4,000 people who got killed due to speed related accidents. It makes no sense. It's like the gun thing. There's millions of people with guns in America. Millions. And if it was such a problem, there'd be hundreds of thousands of people dying every day. But you're going to make a responsible person have to put away their weapon of choice to defend their family because some knuckleheads on the south side of Chicago can't get it together. Or some parents raising their kids to be chumps and they going into these schools and doing what they're doing. Everybody got to suffer because three people didn't did. I want you to think about this for a minute. How many school incidents have you had in your hometown? 99% 99% of people have never had an incident at the school that they went to, at the high school that they went to. Name one. Does anybody have an incident that happened at your high school? I would argue that 99% of people have never had an incident at their high school. So it's not as prevalent as they make it seem like, but they want to ban it from everybody carrying just because a few people have done something. Just stop them from doing it. That, that's the goal. Anyway, I could talk about it all day. Shout out to my boy, Kurt Russell. Just spanking him. Man, I need to meet you one day. I hope you follow me on social media, Kurt. I want to meet you, man. Maybe we can sit down and do an interview because I love the way you think. I'll see y'all the next day.